so we made it to Naples. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to take the public transit into town. Uh, basically, the airport's that way. You walk like five minutes to the bus stop. You can scan your card, get on with your luggage, and then from there, I think it's like a half hour into town-ish. We'll see. I've never done this before, uh, but it's only five euros, so it's a good deal. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So that was actually super easy, super fast. Um, I'm already at like the main bus station and from here it's like a 20 minute walk that way to my Airbnb where I then have to like carry all my luggage up. I think like five flights of steps. Whew. Um, I really would kill for a double espresso right now, but I don't have time because the annoying thing with this Airbnb is that they have like a window of like two hours that you can check in otherwise they charge you like a ridiculous amount um so i'm gonna try to make it there before this window closes and then i'll get my double espresso oh here we go all right i'm taking a break just checking in it is really a workout dragging a suitcase around on cobblestone Whew, i have definitely earned my pasta i still have another like eight minutes to go um, I've already seen like four people shooting heroin, so that's promising, I guess. Not like the best first impression of Napoli. Um, I mean, I've also smelled some really amazing like, you know, restaurants, things. So like, obviously it's not all bad, just right off the bat, not exactly what I was expecting when I got here. Um, but We'll see. I need to keep dragging my bag or I'm not going to make it on time. I just checked into my b, &B. It's super cute. And now I'm on a mission to go find some pizza. Um, if you don't already know, Naples is like the birthplace of pizza. It was invented uh, for Queen Margarita of Spain. I think, I believe it was for her birthday one year uh, with the colors of the flag, the green basil, the red tomatoes, and the white mozzarella. Um, so the, it's supposed to be like astounding to have pizza here. I'm really excited. I got a couple recommendations. Uh, so let's check it out. Also just before we go outside, how cute is this door? It's super old, but then look, there's like a little. And out we go. Okay. Uh, so we're in like a little piazza now. Um, if you're staying here and you're in like a B&B &B or even really a hotel, um, anything that says piazza, in the address means you basically have to go to like a little square and then it's somewhere within the square so it's really easy if you're like just assuming it's on the street to miss it um so heads up little tip for you when you're in Italy um, so I'm gonna run and try to get this pizza before the place closes because a lot of places here will open like just two or three hours for lunch and then close and not reopen again until like after seven for dinner and I haven't eaten all day so I really really want to get in somewhere before everything closes. So I'm gonna go try to figure out which direction I'm supposed to be walking and I'll see you soon. It was delicious. It was so good. Um, 
I hate to say it, I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble for this. I will get in trouble for this. I still think New York pizza is better, mainly just because you can actually pick it up. The pizza in Italy is so thin, and I think just the way they, like, I mean, New York has thin crust too, and New York's, I think just for some reason, it's crispier, so you can actually pick it up. The pizza here is amazing, it's delicious, but you can't pick it up. You really do have to eat with a fork and a knife. Um, so it's a bit of a different vibe, but it's still very good. Um, it just drives me crazy because I want to pick it up so badly. Um, but, I mean, if that's the worst concession, you still get to have really good pizza. It's worth it. Uh, live music. Okay, so I don't really know if he's a street performer or somebody who's drunk in what looks like a swimming cap doing karaoke on the street. Um, it's interesting. Uh, I don't know. So far, Napoli is surprising me <laughs> around every corner. Um, first, like arriving and seeing a bunch of people doing heroin, and then like the delicious pizza, which was amazing, and the really cool building I'm staying in. And now this random guy in his swim cap singing with like a karaoke machine. I don't know. <laughs> it's entertaining. out how to get back I am very turned around there's a lot of little streets here so I'm gonna go figure that out and I will see you in the morning